who know okay so uh, we're back to our um, uh, WDS and then uh, we were doing uh, so let's just uh, go back to the drawing and uh, uh, here we have one WDS and one reference machine and then one uh, okay so there's the call that the door is closed so let's just hello what is it today pizza delivery or what oh, okay also resuming uh, we are at uh, right now uh, we are uh, trying to continue uh, quickly now because uh, okay so first is DC DNS here and uh, this is the reference machine so anyone can give me a one-liner of what's reference machine reference machine is mm -hmm. all the software that we're going to deploy we're going to take an image of and deploy onto the network okay onto network means what onto the empty machines empty machines so the whole scenario would be like uh, we bought 50 machines from a company or 100 machines from a company any one uh, one of the machine we're just going to take out and another thing the hardware has to be the same right and uh, instructions are everything uh, we need uh, exactly the same on the rest of the 99 machines so we're going to just install everything here and then we're going to upload this so we're going to first install all which we did oh we're pretending we did and then uh, we did sysprep and then uh, we were supposed to capture and upload the image to uh, WDS server and then we were supposed to down uh, deploy to deploy this working uh, image to which is reference machine image to rest of the empty machines okay so uh install that was next step so we are at that step now capture and we're gonna try to go ahead from this step now deploy this working with you. so uh let's uh, go ahead and try uh, and carry on from here so um uh, everyone tried that lab right wds right yeah. everyone tried that and everyone got there did everyone get there yeah yeah um Okay, and you were not able to get there, reach there, right? Yeah. You're not able to reach that stage. Reach stage. Okay. No, I'm on the capture stage too. Okay. But so we're gonna try that again. Doing it exactly. I'm at the beginning right now. Oh, okay. The only thing is there is no replica set up at this computer because I was not here. Oh yes, 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 so yes. yes. It's about five minutes. Now. Yeah. Wow. Okay. Cool. So uh, we're starting from capture and upload the image. Uh, we're gonna try again uh, this uh, thing. So what what we're going to try is um, I'm gonna double check uh, some of the steps that uh, we had already done the uh, you know uh, just the operating system deployment without zero touch. Uh, we did the operating system deployment in the empty machine, right? Right, Tanish? Mm -hmm. We did the operating deployment, operating system deployment on an empty machine. You did that, right? Yeah. See this? Yeah. Okay. But I don't know what happened. Hey, log into your network, yeah. right? But it's going to the, the main one. It's not going to the 12 one. Oh, when Windows 20. Oh, yeah. restart again. Yeah. Restart, and then it's going to give you. It's on Windows 2012, which yeah. is the host Windows 2012, yeah. not the virtual machine. So restart it. Yeah. Shut it down. Uh, so press the button for five seconds there. Down. Okay. Shut uh, down this machine. It's on Windows 7 host. Oh. Oh, okay. No, I will. Oh, now yeah. you're going there. So yeah, it happened. Easy. Now you yeah, restarted. Uh, okay, sorry. Uh, okay, so um, oh, seriously, it was recording. So uh, let's just go ahead now. I'm gonna double check our environment and quickly go to where we were. So first thing on the domain controller, uh, we have. Oh, okay, again, uh, we have. Uh, 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 Windows uh, so I'm just logged in from netplus admin and uh, we have server manager so I'm just gonna go and check my WDS setting on the domain controller WDS is here so I'm gonna right click or, or I'm just gonna go to tool same thing uh, Windows deployment services here 
and uh, let me just put it on Magnifico. So Windows Deployment Services here. Uh, so it looks it should look like this and it should be green for everyone, right? So I was saying, uh, uh, you know, just like we come in the morning and we check our all the servers configuration Everything should be green. All the services should be running. Whatever is automatic should be uh, Started so uh, that's the best practice. We always do uh, when we uh, go to our network So server one is there uh, install images should be populated like this uh, with accounts image everyone should have that uh, and boot image should be populated with two images, right? Uh, one is the usual image through which we deployed uh, Windows 8 from our DVD. Mm -hmm. And the second one should be capture. Do, does it look like this for everyone, yeah. right? Yes, yes, yes. Matthew? Yeah. Okay. And you're going there. Cool. But mm -hmm. you know the steps. Yeah, yeah. Way to go, man. Woohoo. Right. Uh, so, um... Uh, and we had the pending devices uh, one device was there the reporting so uh, now let's just go ahead and uh, you know what we were ready but I'm just going to uh, take you to that option as well uh, so what we did was we created a reference machine we had a reference machine or we, we installed a Windows 8 and uh, it was joined to the domain we made sure about that and then uh, it is ready as a reference machine so we ran we will be running sysprep again on that machine on the client side but before that on the server side i want to make sure that the machine does not try to automatically connect to wds so i'm just going to go to the server side like this and right click on properties and go to boot so do you remember do we remember what what was the purpose of these options here yeah so yeah uh, the first one the purpose is to so uh, we selected the third option first. Why? Because we did not want to press F12 at that time, right? Uh, so it went automatically. Why did it went automatically? Because there was no operating system there, right? It had to, it wanted to look for a DHCP and then it went for WDS. So that was a successful lab, but it was not a zero touch lab and it was not a capture lab, right? Now we are doing a capture lab. We already have a reference machine, Windows 8. And uh, uh, we're about to run sysprep on that. We will be going to require the user to press F12. Why? Because if we had kept it on the automatic side, uh, it would not have, uh, it would have just gone to start the Windows machine setup. We don't want that. We want it to press F12 and show us the capture, uh, you know, options. So require the user to press F12 key to continue this. If this is done, uh, everyone, this is checked by everyone yes okay thank you so press okay here and uh, then we go for sysprep so if i go back to my diagram here our diagram here so install uh, you know the reference machine then sysprep it so server side we have uh, tried to confirm that we have a capture image and we have that automatic setting set to f12 and now we're going for client side and doing sysprep here on the reference machine again. And let's see if the error comes and then we're going to try to troubleshoot that error as well. Right. So uh, let's and if that goes well, then capture and upload the image to WDS server will be the next step. Uh, but uh, let's just go and sysprep the reference machine. Suppose this machine has all the software, uh, MS Office and uh, Adobe Reader. The steps would be same if the add-on bay. Okay, so the steps would be same if uh, you know the software are there, or the stuff would be same if the software is not there. Like we don't have it now. WinZip. Suppose we installed all that uh, and antivirus with latest signatures, latest Windows updates, updates. Uh, uh, all the drivers are good for sound display network card right everything is okay so we have to double check everything make sure everything is perfect on the reference machine then we capture the image of the c drive of the reference machine right so okay let's go ahead and try to do that so our server side is ready let's go for our uh, client side now and we have windows 8 here so what is supposed to be the setting on the windows 8 uh, first thing is it joined to the domain 
So how do we check that? I'm going to go on Windows 8 and I'm going to the yellow folder here and then right clicking the, this PC inside the yellow folder I'm right clicking the, this PC and going to the properties right everyone yay <laughs> okay not everyone <laughs> okay so uh, if you go to the yellow folder and go to let's do this this PC right click and properties right everyone did do that do it done oh okay so once you do it done you should be seeing this screen so in my case I'm on work group are you on work group okay you're on work group Raja you're on work group uh, Raj you're on work group Krish work group you're not there uh, yeah go to windows 8 and uh, should be on work group because we had an error last time and Raj you're reaching yeah cool cool Okay, so this is recommended by Microsoft. Your reference machine should not be joined to the domain. So let's not try to do that, right? It's on the work group. Okay, we're good. Okay, which is okay. Yeah, uh, all our machines are on work group. So now, second thing is in order to capture the image of the C drive. So if I go to the Explorer again in the C drive, whatever files are here. So if we had installed all the software, where would that software be? All the software would be in the program files, right? MS Office, WinZip, and uh, Adobe Acrobat, everything would have been here, right? If, if we don't install or if we install, the steps are the same, right? So uh, this is a reference machine whose C drive image we want to put on server 2, which is our WDS server. Oops, server 1, which is our WDS server. Okay, so Windows 8, now we're going to run and do the sysprep again like last time oh seriously uh i need to check guys are you able to uh ping your server one so i'm just gonna quickly right click uh because uh, server one to server two, yeah. uh windows 8 to server one you're not able to ping it is no no uh, but uh, ping the ip of server one so one hundred two one two one hundred two one sixty eight two hundred dot one from Windows 8. Uh, so first of all, I'm checking my network card setting. No, it's not pinging. Oh, so you have on your right side this shows showing us 80. I had it on another day, but not today. Oh, it's on the microscope. Oh, pinging. Okay, cool. Yeah, it's uh showing expired, Raj. No, no. Oh, uh, automatic repair, serious. Yeah. Uh, and it keeps on going that, there, right? Eh? It keeps on doing that, right? Yeah, I, I may have to rebuild a new. Oh, uh, and that was the only one you had? Ouch. Um, I had a template machine, so I can. Do okay, cool. Clone. Yeah. And when the clone starts, yeah, you just have to rename an IP. Even not IP, IP should be coming from your DHCP, right? So. So, so we want to be in work group? Yes. Okay. Second thing, we should be pinging. So, uh, VMware 15, I'm just checking my uh, settings and uh, I'm just gonna close, make sure that internet card on Windows 8 is disabled. I do not need it. So, just making a little more, few more changes here. So, on the Windows 8, I'm making sure and it is disabled. The internet card is disabled and my IP here is 200.51, which is which it received from DHCP. It's good. Um, okay, I'll just uh, uh, make sure that my server one VMNet setting is also 15. Good. So let me just ping quickly each other because at least if this is ping, because it's not our work group. So okay, you know it's uh, still going to receive the IP address from uh, our DHCP. Uh, it doesn't have to be joined the domain for that. So ping. I'm pinging from Windows 8 to all right, 62.1, pinging, and from Windows 2012 or domain controller to ping 192.168.200.51. All right, we're good to go. So both sides are okay, and uh, uh, although it's pinging, I have that bad habit of 
or good bad habit of or bad good habit of checking the domain you know on my DC the firewall is still on I am closing it because later if you know it's not communicating for some reason it's the firewall right yeah it is possible on a domain controller it's just that whatever was depending on the domain controller uh, you need to see that so after changing that so first of all it is possible second thing if uh, you know uh, there were so many clients joined to the domain or connecting to the domain controller they will be affected so we should know that we should not be doing that in the production environment we should do it on the weekend and then restart and then let it sync with other domain controllers and if the, sometimes there are applications that are hard coded that suppose this exchange server will only contact that particular domain controller out of the five domain controllers suppose there are five domain controllers so then you have to just make sure in that case only also you have to make sure that that application is connected to some other domain controller so but definitely that is possible in that so something sometimes that happens yeah and that's why we plan first and if we that we don't have to do that but yeah it happens that's why Microsoft has just one document for that and we have been following it since 2003 they just keep on updating the new operating system where it's the same procedure again and again uh, you know the precautions document okay so um, Windows 8 here uh, is ready uh, I pinged it and now we're going for I'm on Windows 8 now. Let's go to run and type the sysprep. Somehow it's not, you know, already I cannot see sysprep. Just means it's the first time it's running, I guess, on this Windows 8. Maybe when you're typing sysprep, it's already showing that, right? Or it's not. It's in the reference machine. Reference machine, yeah. So if it is already showing, this means first, uh, first time you have run. For me, I think maybe this... I'm sure this was the machine I ran, ran it on. Anyway, so sysprep, press OK. And, uh, oh. Mm hmm. Yeah, so it did run. Okay. So sysprep, again, we know the drill here. So either we can go for shutdown, then inhale, exhale, do some yoga, and relax, and don't panic, and then start and press F12. Or we can just do restart and just be on it. So, in virtual environment, if it was physical machine, we would have easily pressed F12 right away. In, you know, virtual machine, we know what to do, right? Click, click, click mouse, click, click, click F12. Both at the same time, simultaneously, right? So, reboot and uh, here goes nothing. Okay, so it's uh, sys prepping again and hopefully this time we are like, uh, we're like, or like so for one year you guys could ask any okay no I cannot pause now <coughs> so one year yeah uh, we can prepare the exams right <coughs> okay so I'm gonna try to press F12 as soon as it is you starting or you're seeing what happens to me right that's not fair Oh, okay, cool. Oh. F12. Uh, click, click, and F12. Oh, okay, that's why. Uh, so, who else is trying? Okay. <laughs> okay, uh, you know what? Uh, I'm joining Raj now. So, the. Okay. Raj, who's uh, in third row, Raj on first row, right? So, um, oh, and I did not take a snapshot as well. That was so genius. Okay, so. Um, Missions are back to normal now. They all act like a real. Act like a real machine. Okay. Uh -huh. Sorry? Restart. Yeah, restart. Uh, please, uh, you know, restart away. And uh, I'm going to be back in 5, 10 minutes. So, I just need. Same error? Same Guys, now give me uh, just, uh, what's 10 in uh, Spanish? Okay. 10 in Spanish? Yeah. 
No, unos o dos, tres. Hey, South America. <laughs> Oh, really? Yeah. And here in French and English. Oh. Most IT jobs are like bilingual. So, guys, just give me uh, 10 in French. Uh, 10? 10, ten, in, 10 minutes in French. Oh. No. Yeah. What's in French? This. This is this. 10 in French. Yeah. Oh, what is, give me 10 minutes. Mm. That's it. That means give me 10 minutes. No, no, okay. 10 minutes. <laughs> what about give me? Ah, oh, come on. You first ask 10 minutes, then you ask the adding on. Oh, man. So it's, uh, you know, it's in celebration of I added one terabyte SSD as well. So now it's 500 terabyte and one terabyte in my DVD drum uh, enclosure. So it's 1.5. Whoa. Feels so good. Oh, okay, so uh, go 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 move it move it move it move it. So if you say that and panic, sometimes it just goes faster. Okay, not funny. So pausing now. Uh, you're seeing that error? Okay, so I'm gonna go to the slide, and this is the error that we are seeing, right? Yeah. I, is it the exact error? Is it in front of you there? Yeah. Okay, in front of you. you got it. Cool, man. Anyone else? Sure. So is it win load, and it's zero xc, lots of zeros f. Yeah. You have exactly same error on the board that is showing. Matthew, you have. It? Oh, you did not. Did you not restart that no. machine? Okay, cool. And Roger. Restart from the end. Yeah. Uh, restart from Windows eight. Do you have WDS everything done, right? Matthew? You have uh, followed the lab all along or? Okay. <laughs> so you did not try the capture thing yet, right? No, I didn't. Okay. Okay, so you had that even today now? Yeah. Okay. Y at home you did not? Yeah. Not yet. Not yet. Okay. I thought yeah, you went know. ahead from there. <laughs> Raja, you had the same error now? No. Yeah. This one yeah. now. Okay. So uh, let's check it out now. So my clone is done. I'm just going to start it and start sysprep right away. <clears throat> uh, just make sure, making sure that my VMNet uh, setting is okay, which is supposed to be on v VMNet 15. It's on 12, so I'm just going to change it quickly to 15. This time, I'm going to take a snapshot so I could reuse it right away. Hmm? Yeah, so, no, you missed the F12? Or you got the, after the error, you started it? No, no, I just restarted. Okay, you did not press F12, no. right? Oh, okay, so you have to run sysprep again. again. And you don't have to miss F12. Raj, what happened? Oh, Raj in third row. What happened? I'm just doing a sysprep. Okay. Hey, the Raj B and Raj K, right? There you go. Raj B. Raj B and Raj K. Raj <coughs> All right. And Raj A. No, okay. So. Yeah. If you put A in front of J. Raj and Raja is kind of, kind of same. Kind of. So rule, hey, you want a rule? And the ruler. Ruler is ruling. So ruler is Raja, and to rule is Raj. <laughs> oh, that was interesting. Hey, cool. All right, uh, so <clears throat> it is still starting the Windows 8. Uh, I just wanted to uh, try that again uh, once more time, then. Uh, Yeah, that's it. So my machine is about to be ready. Uh, so, you know, in that first sysprep we did, I did, it just, okay, this is client 02-WDS. Uh, 
so I'm just gonna name it quackly use express settings it's gonna like look for internet and okay so resuming and then going for sysprep now uh, again I have just created a new Windows 8 and no problem. so and sys prep enter and uh, sys prep double click and generalize reboot uh, so uh, I'm just gonna try to attempt it again um, I started the recording as well while ADK is being installed copied on the uh, background or is nearly copied already so please copy the ADK in the C drive of your Windows um, 2012 or DC yeah in the C drive of the DC this folder it's not detecting directly in the virtual machine so open the virtual machine click inside the virtual machine take off the USB and put it in another USB so it is Cool. Copy, yeah. yeah, copy to the C drive, yeah, uh, the full server folder. One, yeah? yeah, server one. So copy in the C drive of server one. Uh, we need to create the answer file. While I'm trying to do this, uh, and I hope if it works, I could just show you the capture image thing. And that takes forever to actually upload the image to the WDS server. If it goes ahead, uh, it takes forever. I uh, like uh, it's gonna take a lot of time, but I'm gonna uh, keep on recording that. Hopefully, if it works. Uh, so, so this prep is going on on Windows 8 right now while ADK is copied as well or seriously what is going on another fatal error okay today is not the sysprep day or maybe I have this Windows 8 is not good okay so snapshot back to snapshot manager and let's just uh, use the previous image to just simply okay I had another fatal error I think I have to later remove this Windows 8 permanently and install a new one uh, sysprep is not working on it seriously okay so what I have here is come on let me just show these guys once please Windows I'm talking to you okay uh, so ADK is done and let us go ahead now All right. Uh, so copy and then install it. And uh, where are you installing that? Yep. Seriously, how can this not work? Okay, I'm run as administrator. Okay. Uh, <coughs> the problem is I won't try. come on one yeah on the DC oh guys uh, so if you if you install with all the options which is also okay ADK we just need to uh, copy it in the C drive of uh, Domingator and then install it uh, yeah on server zero one finish installing cool
Okay, so I'm just gonna copy that uh, to my C drive. Uh, I tried three times more sysprep and it just gave me a fatal error. For some reason, I need to just. Uh, so, Raj joined Telegram. Okay, good. Oh, Raj K. You joined or? Okay, yeah, because Raj B is already there. So. Uh, okay, so I'm just uh, copying this on the No, yeah, it's okay And I'm just uh, exactly reaching there Copying yeah from there to here yeah. oh then check the firewall here so DC, okay. DC. Mm -hmm. DC oh but uh, yeah we still have to double check okay so I'm just copying uh, the step number one is I'm copying in C drive um the adk and it's uh, being copied right now so resuming now uh and let's see if we are able to do that so a uh, 8.1 uh, 8 adk configuration and uh then we're gonna go for distribution share we're gonna create a uh folder called distribution share i'm just going through first of the pictures just to explain and then we are selecting these three options here uh, for ADK, uh, Deployment Tools, Windows Pre-Installation Environment, Windows PE, and Windows Performance Toolkit. Uh, also, now we're talking about um, Windows System Image. And then we're going to be creating Windows System Image Manager. Here uh, we're going to be creating the whole... Um, you know uh, answer files right so and this goes then answer file after answer file after answer file and uh, until we reach uh, okay Windows 8.1 we have to add the image so let's go ahead and try to do that so sorry yeah so it's uh, okay uh, where are we are going there this one even if you select it all huh? okay. so I select it all it's okay it's okay if you select it all or you've said not selected all yeah you were saying uh, Matthew no this year we have to create ourselves so where are you uh, so I'm gonna be doing that now Sorry, they are restarting. We're okay. Doing on the Windows 8, right? No, on the server one. Server one. Actually, uh, Windows 8 are not added install. So we're going to be creating distribution share as well and create users. So, yep, how it's how on the server one. Hmm? Uh, so we're going to create a, a, a simple folder for that. So I'm going to do that now, right? So, first step is uh, I'm ins installing on the server. Server zero one. Server zero one. This. So I'm just. This is uh, going to be very quick. So uh, Active Directory setup. Oh, it's now recording. So we're okay. Okay. So next, next, next. Finish. Next. 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 Oh well, we could select all. Otherwise, uh, performance toolkit, VAMT, it's just going to take lesser space. Otherwise, nothing important uh, if you don't select so unselect others. Select this tool. Deployment tools, Deployment tool. uh, Windows PE, uh, which just offers us minimum operating system designed to prepare a computer for installation and servicing of Windows. So it's just uh, giving us the boot environment to boot from, you know, uh, the network and uh, Windows performance toolkit. Uh, so the main thing is deployment tools actually, which is offering all the main commands, uh, main uh, files, which are which is downloading all the files. So deployment tools, that's the main thing. 
others windows p of course is uh, uh, main thing the two things are there even if you don't select or select performance it doesn't matter but uh, we're just going for this all three next install so yes you know it would have taken a lot of time if we had downloaded from internet obviously Okay. Okay. So thirty six percent, forty percent. Everyone already did that, right? Percentages. Oh, starting. Yeah, it started already. That's terrible. Oh, uh, how is everyone else? Is done the installation? This one? Yeah. Yes. And Matthew, it's done? Windows the And you have uh, internet connection as well yeah, yeah. on this? I just got it right now. Which is not um, it's gonna take forever. Yeah, it, you, yeah, USB. You could just ask. Yeah, I just take oh. the USB. Raj, it's installed. Yeah. Okay, but it started. Yeah. Oops. <laughs> okay. So what is that? What happened? I didn't have the VMware toolkit oh. installed on the server, so. Cool. It's okay. Yeah. No. Cool. All right. It is done. Okay, <laughs> behold. Okay, so uh, yeah. So um, so after that, <laughs> yeah. Okay, so um, after it is installed, it looks like Z, and we could just put the launch, uh, the getting started guide. Learn more about Windows assessment. No, we're not now. So close. Once it is installed, so uh, here there is Windows System Image Manager, create distribution share, and then uh, so yeah, these four steps here. Uh, oh, sorry, uh, from here. So once it is installed, we're going to create a shared folder. And we're going to give the path of this ADK to that shared folder. So the step, major step two. So two guys have installed, Raja and Matthew have installed it, right? Yeah. And uh, Tanesh, oh, Tanesh has also installed it. And me has also installed it, me. And uh, Raj is. Raj B is coming. Raj on B and way. K, both. On the way. On the okay, way. on the way. That's the determination. Raj like. <laughs> So, <laughs> no, but Raj, B and K are on the way. Wait, That's like, cool. So, uh, you guys are the rectifiers. So that's very so good. At least in the backup, we can something. Yeah. We can take a break. <laughs> so, <laughs> okay. So, no, but uh, while this is going on, you can create a shared folder. In the background right well this is uh, another task so let's go and go to the c drive of our server 01 i'm going to the c drive of server 01 let's go there everyone and in the c drive let's just create the folder like z like this okay uh, okay new folder and it's dist share dist dash share so we're creating that uh, folder here and uh naming it in the c drive uh, local path as disk share then we're going for right click and then we're going for share with and we're going for specific people and very specific people will be everyone yeah. and we're just putting everyone here for now and making sure it is read and write so everyone created a folder called disk share 
DIST dash. Uh, so it's uh, distribution share yeah. or dist yeah. uh, or share folder anything actually. So dist share and uh, then uh, share folder and then oh you already did that? Cool. Forty four. So Tanesh, Raj, B. Okay. Right. What is it? Uh, yeah, so in C drive, we're just creating a shared folder, which is giving everyone read and write access. Although we can just give it to our administrator as well, but uh, let's just give it to everyone so we don't uh, we avoid a lot of errors that might happen if we give specific permissions for now in our private lab. So once this is created, it it's this path that we are looking for. So, so Matthew, done. The distribution share you created yourself, right? Okay, so backslash backslash server zero one backslash dist share it. This is the path that it's going to be right. So click done here. So it is created and it is shared. Uh, now let's go for the next steps. So I'm just gonna go for uh, you know there's that application in the apps area in Windows 2012 installed. We just installed ADK right. So. It's in the apps area, but let me just uh, go one or two. Uh, so this is the Windows system image manager that's going to open, that we're about to open. I'm gonna take you there. Uh, and then here, we're going to just add the distribution share, uh, create distribution share like this. Okay, so let's go to the next three steps here. The first step uh, here now is after creating the disk share, we need to go and see where the uh, ADK was installed. Where is it showing now? So we're gonna go to the Windows area here, Windows icon, and that takes us to the down arrow here. And then it takes us, so we need to go ahead and scroll to the right side. And um, yeah, it's a big screen, so I have to come back up and down here and go ADK okay Windows kits here and there it is Windows system image manager so you will find that okay oh sorry and okay you'll be there fresh fresh yeah. yeah okay so Windows system image manager once we are there I'm just going to go for file and oh sorry not file not file not file right click here select a distribution share and then create distribution share it's just asking for hey where's that shared folder where we're going to be putting that answer file so we're telling it hey uh, the shared folder is the disk share and it's located in c drive and it is shared so select a distribution share so create we're going to go for that create distribution share and then go for this pc C drive, we're just going for wherever we created disk share, right? Open. When we click open, it looks like this now. So now it has the path where we're going to be uh, creating uh, our answer file. But before that, so who's on this step? Raja is already 20 years ahead of us, right? Oh. Yeah. Installation complete. All right. Mm. Uh, I already created a share folder and share the those things to all the. Oh, stuff. you're there, and you're also. So it's about to. What percentage is that? Forty. Forty. Woohoo! Where you go? A lot of time ahead. <laughs> yeah. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> That we're waiting like <laughs> okay, but we are moving. That's the main thing. We are moving. Uh, okay, so uh, when you're there, let me know. So uh, although you have the screenshots and you can see the screens where we are doing now. First thing, we just gave the path of the local C drive where this share is. Second thing is let's go ahead a little. Uh, Once so these are these were three screenshots here. Now we're making sure that we have uh, Windows 8.1 ISO mounted to the DVD of 
our uh, Windows Phone 12 domain controller. Why? We're going to be copying files from there inside our uh, C, uh, you know uh, that server. So first we are mounting DVD, but I'm just gonna uh, go for f a few more screenshots here, and then we're going to be adding the install.vim file here. Select Windows image file. So what is this saying is uh, the uh, ADK uh, Windows System Image Manager wants to know which operating uh, system file uh, or install dot vim of which operating system you want to be added here whose answer file we are creating so what do we mean by that if uh, if we add here so it wants to know first of all hey are you deploying in 200 machines windows 8 or are you deploying windows 7 or windows xp or windows 10 so we are saying oh we're gonna be deploying windows 8.1 so now once it adds here then it's going to say okay let me uh, it's going to give you the options of creating an answer file for specifically windows 8. it's going to give us the option of creating answer files or uh, it's going to give us those options hey what is the locale what is the domain name what is the key for that what is what what is what right so uh, and now if we had put here windows 7 this means we're deploying windows 7 on all 200 machines Whatever we put here is what we're deploying and it's going to create an answer file for that specific uh, op operating system, right? So yes, we are deploying Windows 8. So uh, we're going to be mounting that Windows 8 now. Uh, so I'm just gonna go back to my server here. So it is server one, everyone there? Yes. Okay, so right click on server one and then we go for settings right click on server one and then we go for settings and then we go for DVD and then we go for browse now do you see your Windows 8 there so who's repeating yeah. you do? okay you're repeating by Raj, you're repeating? I'm on the Raj, you're in the class. Raja. Oh, sorry. Raja, you're in the class. Oh, sorry. Yeah, you're there? For the, uh, image part. You're okay, still way ahead, right? So you're also... That's okay. Okay, so this means I can quiz you at least. <sighs> oh. Even that's not fun now. He's already confident about that. So, okay, Windows 8.1, double click, uh, and uh, yeah, so see, that was the first time, first confusion in the Raj column here. Raj Ro, Raj Ro. So I was uh, saying Raj yeah. while I was yeah, looking at Raja. So, <laughs> oh, you're here? Yeah. Hey, where, uh, it's already added here, yeah. this, and Windows 8 is added here, Tanesh, added, no. mounted. So you mm -hmm. need to mount Windows 8 on DVD, right? Okay, so now I'm gonna uh, go for select Windows image here. Uh, select Windows image or catalog file here. Let's go there, select Windows image. So why are we doing that? Anyone can tell me? What, yeah. Which does what? Uh, the catalog file contains all the settings that we could potentially add to the answer file. For example? Uh, language settings, keyboard settings, so it's called catalog file of all the so it is catalog of all the areas of which we can create an answer right so or we can make more maybe it doesn't stop at certain areas but you still want to make some changes customize that you know installation so it has huge huge amount of options for an operating system any area of an operating system you can change or customize so it's not only that it's going to not stop but you can customize further um, where it's not going to stop yeah in adk we can also set browsers right yeah yeah yeah, yeah. yeah. Oh. exactly exactly so oh. yeah you're saying oh which one so mounting oh. the um uh, the windows 8 windows so 8. you guys have Windows 8.1 32 bit, right? 32 bit. Cool. We've got 64 bit actually, also in the iPhone. 
Mm-hmm. Oh, Tanish? Hmm? Well, did they put the 64 bit? Yeah, I put it. I hey. just put it everything. So you want to put a 64 bit? You're the man. Mm-hmm. Oh, yeah, but, nah. but before, what did we deploy? The first class. So, guys, go for that. <laughs> <laughs> Now, if we put answer file for 64-bit, and we have, we're going to be using the image of 32-bit, right? So, for now, it's 32-bit. But mm-hmm. later, we're gonna, we can just try 64-bit for any other thing. Yeah, for now, it's 32-bit. So, mount the 32-bit, not the 64-bit for now, oh. because we already used it, right? Oh. Uh, so, it has to be the answer file of the same image that we already have created on the first class. So, everyone, please don't go for 64-bit now. For the next 32, class, right? yeah, for mm-hmm. the next Net Plus uh, 7411 class, we're going to use that. So you gonna, you guys are going to be feeling happy for them, right? Okay. Oh, oh. Uh, I mean, <laughs> it's the same thing, man. Uh, the yeah. thing is uh, how to zero, zero, make it zero touch. Yeah, yeah. you're saying? So everyone on this screen then, mm-hmm. right? Okay, select Windows image. And where do we go? So, so we go to C or is it in D? Oh. Okay. Did I mount it? That is the question. Connected. Oh, it's not connected? Sure it is. Thank you for noticing that. <laughs> hey, why why cannot okay, so open and I'm just gonna go for where? Source. EFI. Yeah, sources and install dot vim. Have we do there? No. Yes. Oh. Hmm? It's installed dot vim. No. Uh, so no, in the picture, which I sent, that was a real hard work, buddy, and it it worked till the end. Yeah. Yeah, but your pictures don't have this. Oh, it has. It's okay, pictures. Don't worry. He he didn't mean that. See this. That's all right. Yeah. All right. There is a reason for that. So, you know, uh, it's going to create that too. So, um, let's. Oh, let me just show you. See this? So mount, copy, uh, create a folder inside software or wherever and copy the whole contents of the ISO in the C drive. So, m- d- you mounted already, right? Windows 8? Yeah, what is still showing a C instead of D. It is still showing a C. So, uh, it's better to... So, guys, just follow I this. DVD yeah. is a mounted already, right? Uh, in fact, let me show you that error, then uh, I'm just gonna... Uh, because it's just one one click more. So if I install dot vim like this, I think everyone did that. Yeah. And uh, that. the catalog yeah. file, press yeah. yes. Do you want to create a catalog file? Yes. Okay. Cannot create rewrite on D right. because it's read only. It's read only, right? So what we need to do is I'm gonna go to C drive. Let's go to C drive here. Let's create a new folder here called software because later we might need to put some more thing there so not the disk share but the software folder and inside the software folder we are going to create another folder called windows 8 windows 8 and what do we copy inside that everything from the dvd so our dvd is uh, here, click open. Once you're inside the DVD, control A and control C and, you know, control A, control C, although. Everyone did that? Yes. So, so in the DVD, yeah. Sorry, so in a work no environment, problem. would this uh, software folder be on the network share? Or uh, it, it should be. Okay. It. Uh, normally, it's already there. Operating system folders, everyone create those, right? With ISOs, so it's already there. And we we could uh, we will be giving that path. All right now, in our case, we just have to copy that. So software folder was created, yes. And then Windows 8 folder was created, 
right? Raj B as well? No. Nope. What happened? And so we're mounting Windows 8 uh, or you're somewhere else. Uh, but this guy recovers uh, fast, man. Just like the other guys. Yeah. Woo! Sir? Sorry. Yep. For some reason, use my ISO image. Yep. Connect. Yep. Here. Browse. Hey, today you look fresh. What's wrong? What's good? I mean, that's what's right. I mean. Okay. <laughs> so you had some rest. That's needed. Huh? Whoa. Where to go, man? Because there's a custom lab coming. So for 10, you have to do it in one go. You know, that's going to be challenging, and that's where we really learn. So it's in the end now. Prep. So I'll be sending that. Uh, so, uh, yeah, custom lab? No, I, I did not send yeah, already, but uh, we'll be sending soon now. Yeah by tomorrow night most probably so you have to all do that together or separately you do it at home as well right cool man saw the video good that's good man so uh, we have in the software folder windows 8 uh, added here so now uh, what we can do is go back to our uh, Windows image file, select a Windows image or catalog file, and when we go again, do the select Windows image, and this time we're giving the path of the locally copied file. C drive, uh, software, Windows 8, sources, it's the same path, but not in the DVD, uh, it's in the C drive, right? What happened? Oh, no, Raj K had error. So when we double click that and press yes, when we double click that and press, anyone did that already? Not yet. Okay, you did it. Cool. Sorry, uh, install the WIM, right? Install the WIM. Install dot WIM. Okay, so click yes. Yeah. Press yes. It should look like this. So it's just saying that you need to what uh, would you like to do? Yeah, press yes. Raj K is shooting the trouble, right? Yeah, it says this is Windows 64 bit. I didn't use something similar. Yeah, so hey, uh, you're using 32 bit? Yeah, I'm using 32 bit. You're also, and you're not, didn't get any error? Right? Not yet. Once it's complete, this. Oh, when it's complete, that? Yeah. So everyone's getting the assessment. Seriously. Uh, there is another solution for that. Uh, now, we need to go a little further. We already have Windows, you know, here. So it's going on. I can just show you here. Uh, in your WDS, right now you have the install image and boot image of 32-bit, right? So if we remove that, delete that in your case, and add 64-bit now, install and boot image of 64-bit uh, Windows 8, now we have that, then uh, it's going to let us go ahead. There's no connection between that. Shouldn't be, because uh, the host uh, VM is uh, detecting 32-bit here, and it's saying, hey, hold on. Mine is all the bit. Oh, you're doing... In the, in How is it opposite? In the WDS, I have 64 bit. Yeah. But I'm copying the 32 bit because of operating system. No, but did you create a, oh, which operating system Windows 8 you have install image and boot image already? Oh, oh, then you should not be using 32 bit at all. No, I'm just complaining that uh, the 64 bit version of Windows 10 can only create catalog for 64 bit Windows 10. So we, our platform is 64-bit right now. Yeah. So uh, for uh, those who have done the first lab, uh, you know, uh, you can just follow me now. Here. Uh, guys, there's an extra step. You know what's, wha what's the diversion here? Do we understand the diversion here? You're going to get an error now. So the error is... For certain... Mm-hmm. 
But w which step are you at right now? I'm just installing the Vim, uh, install Vim. Install out Vim. Oh, you're in this step, uh, which we're yeah. all on? Uh, hey, this step? Yeah. Oh, okay. So we can wait for that error. If that error comes. So what we have done till now is this. Um, that uh, we are, uh, you know, installed ADK. And then what did we do? Uh, created a yeah, shared folder. Uh, Yeah, 64. Oh, Raja, you all, Raja, you already had that error. I'm just going to use the 64 bit. Yeah, I'm using. Cool, and uh, it should not. So, guys, uh, this one. Using the 64 bit. Oh, we understand that. Cool. Hey, you're on the same page. What's wrong? What's right with you? Oh, okay, no, I mean like good, I'm like good. But how do we do that? So how do we do that? Oh, okay, <coughs> guys. If you see this screen, uh, so Raj B and Tanesh, uh, uh, what we're doing is replacing our 32-bit. So I'm just going to right-click and uh, delete. In your machine, I'm replacing install image of window, Windows 8 32-bit to Windows 8 64-bit. So first day, remember what we did? We installed boot.vim of 32-bit. Now we're going to add boot.vim of 64-bit and install.vim of 32-bit we're going to delete and add the install.vim of 64-bit so how do we do that so um, uh, I'm just going to delete that but you are already on the 64 yeah I'm all I'm j I still have to yes, show sure. and so you, you also delete that already delete? or you're just adding but you're not deleting anything right um hmm Okay, guys, uh, you already deleted that, right? Yeah. That's okay. Raj, you also deleted that? Not yet. No. Okay, so uh, we we don't do not use we we do not need the x86 version. So delete. Yeah, I'm just showing how. To okay. Yeah. So press yes. Gone. Okay. Huh? Yeah, install installer uh, images. Yeah. So Raj and Tanesh. Mm -hmm. So how do we add the install.wim? Right click. And did we mount the 64-bit windows now? Mm -hmm. First, we need to make sure that we mount the 60. Do you see in the C drive 64-bit in your host machine now? So others are no, changing that. Yeah, no. Okay. So uh, did you, uh, Tanesh, did you copy the 64-bit Windows 8 on ISO folder, right? Yeah. Okay. So it should be there in the ISO folder. Uh, hold on a second. Uh -huh. So right-click, settings, and so right-click the machines and settings just to mount that 64-bit Windows 8, right? Mm -hmm. So we all understand what we're doing, right? Yeah, we have a Windows 8, yeah. Cool, 64-bit. Yeah. Cool, and you also mounted on the server one 64-bit Windows 8? Yeah. Yes, and also yes? Raj, B? Doing it, doing it. Oh, cool. So browse and 64-bit, uh, uh, just selecting the same thing again. Right. Okay, so uh, we two are, oh, uh, Matthew, you're also doing that? Yeah. Okay, cool. So we all understand what we're doing. Yeah, in, in production environments, uh, s things happen, right? So we have to make it correct. Mm -hmm. So we just have to know where to go and why we're doing that, right? If we understand all this, we're good. Uh, okay, add install image. I'm just going for install.vim. We can just go over boot.vim as well, but uh, yeah, we're going to go it later. Do it later. It's not sequential. So are we on this page, Tanish uh -huh. and Raj B? Okay, browse. And if it is mounted... So, because I deleted as well this, so I'm just gonna go inside the D where I mounted that sources. So, do we see the install.vim? Yeah. Okay, that is fast. Good. So, install.vim next. Okay, it looks like this. Next. And next. Okay. Oh, it, by this time it had given the error? Yeah. Okay, so yours also straight, right? 
going? Not going? Oh, yeah. And Madhu? In, in the process, but by the time I got the error before. Yeah. Okay, by this time you had gotten the error. Yeah, I got the error. So, Raj, B, and Tanesh, you're on the same screen? Yeah. Yay. So, guys, even if we have to go through other means, the beauty of doing the live lab is that we do get to understand, troubleshoot the whole thing, right? And have, we have to make it work. And in production environment, this happens. Servers do screw up. I mean, servers do, system administrators screw up. Servers are not working. You have to make it correct one way or another. Right, so if we understand what we're doing, that's the main thing. So click finish. We have replaced our install image from 32 bit to 64 bit. We're gonna go for the boot images now. Uh, you know, so that although if we have the capture image already of 32 bit, now we're replacing the whole thing to 64 bit, right? So I am just deleting. Uh, we know the drill. Delete the. Uh, boot images inside the boot images. Both of them, or just one? Uh, actually, second one is also 32 bits, so both of them. Yeah. Yeah. Both yeah. We we're just uh, kicking out 32 bit completely. So delete and delete both. So when we delete that, it looks like the same, like the board and yeah. Did you are you in the boot images? Yeah. Okay. Delete both. Yeah. Right click and delete. Okay. Right click boot images. Add boot image. And we click browse. Yep. All right. Okay, cool. We're already there, right? Yeah, sure. Cancel. Cancel. And. Yeah, so empty. Uh, if it's x86 showing, delete it. We don't need it, right? Yeah, x86 is 32 bit. The previous, the day one, we which we did, uh, in the last class, we did, right? So delete that. We don't need that. Well, you did that, right? Yeah. Okay, so it should be empty. So let's just go back again. Right click the boot images. Click add boot image. And browse boot.wim. And this time it's a 64 bit, right? And it's, go it's going to say that. So boot.wim. If it is selected, boot.wim selected, right? Next. Does it say 64? Yeah. For everyone, right? Yeah. Okay, good. So next and that's it. Let's go ahead. Now we are in sync with our ADK because ADK we selected specifically 64, which I gave you is 64. That's why we had to <coughs> go for 64 bit, which is good now. I mean, we really needed a 64 bit. Right. And thank you, Dinesh, for timely effort. Yeah. You did the 64 bit, replaced it. So now we have install image, boot image, both the same. Yes. Okay. Yes. Thank you for confirmation. Okay, so now we're gonna go and uh, go back. So this screen was already open for everyone. Oh, in my case, it is added. So Windows System Image Manager, did you close that screen or is it open? Okay, so you're opening again? Okay, and uh, Tanesh, it is open for you? Okay, so when you go again, 8.1 here, now right click and select Windows Image, you're there. Oh, let's do that. Oh, you're there. I just selected. Uh, so you selected and installed when you selected? Yeah. And did you press yes? Yeah. Oh, you already did all, all that? No, it's running. Okay. Whoa, you're like 10 steps ahead of me. Huh? Oh, sorry. Yeah, so this is the Windows System Image Manager. Is it open? It's open, right? Okay. Windows System Image Manager. So now this software knows, oh, there's a shared folder called disk share. And then there's a Windows 8.1 that I have to create an answer file for okay. till now. No, this is when you have select successfully run that whole wizard, right? So right click, select Windows image. And so did you copy the Windows 64 from the uh, DVD to the C drive? Okay, and that's 64-bit Windows, right? No, no, no. Oh, let's delete that too. Guys, did we all copy 32-bit? No. Oh, Raj, B, and Tanesh, and Matthew. Yeah, I believe it's 32. 32-bits, let's delete that too. So I'm going to go cancel this. Uh, uh, keep this window open, Windows System Image Manager. Keep this open and go to Windows Explorer. 
Now in C drive, did we create a software yeah. folder? Yeah. We all did. Double click, uh, we created a Windows 8 folder. Yeah. And inside we copied, so what did we mount before was Windows 32, right? Yeah. So, uh, you know, uh, we have to just control A, right click and delete. So we are redoing and kicking out 32 bit from everywhere. It's deleting, right? Yeah. Okay, cool. Uh, but while it is deleting, we can mount the 64 bit now. Oh, which is already mounted actually. It is already mounted right now. Why? Because we just added the boot image and boot.vim install.vim from 64 bit. So if it is deleted, what do we need to do next? Uh, mounted back. Uh, no, it is uh, mounted. 64 bit is already mounted in the D. So it is already available. All we need to do is copy the content of D in, in this folder which is being empty right now. Right? So let me know if it is deleted for everyone. No. Control A. Did you s oh you're right clicking every folder and deleting it or yeah. select did you select all? Oh, try again? Yeah. 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 Sure. Is it saying try again for everyone? No. no? Uh, so, Tanesh? Yeah. See the, see the board? So, did you do this? Okay. So keeps, uh, keep it selected on the mouse okay. and drag. Okay. And then right click. Right click on the blue area. Yeah. Is yeah. it like looking like this? Yeah. And then delete. The action cannot be complete because the folder is is open in the oh program. yes so you know what close this if you see this so yeah. Windows system manager yeah, close, it, and yeah close it no close it and don't open it and then delete it again okay. so it is oh wow you are like fif 50 steps ahead uh, where's Raja Page 39? 31. 31. Hey, my guess. See? Uh, he's, further. <laughs> he's further actually. Yeah, he's furtherer. Yeah, Raj B. Yeah. Gotta install it. Cool. So, finish. The whole net plus is depending on you now. Yeah. Okay. So, how do you copy the whole thing? Did you copy the whole thing already? <laughs> so, going to this DVD now. You already have the Windows six, uh, S64 bit. So this PC, go to D drive, right click and open like this. Open. When, do you see the folders inside the D drive? Control A, right click and copy and paste, right? Are you there, Tanish? Yeah. Copy, yeah, paste. paste. Okay, cool. It's pasting now. Yeah. All right, uh, we are there now. And Tanish is also flying, man. That's good. So while it is copying, can you open this again? Windows system image So open this now. Because you need to still create a catalog folder here, right? Yeah. All right. So we had to do this exercise and now we are all 64 bit. So catalog file, uh, who's, okay. Other than the Raj, K and Raja. So you're, you've started, copying. Oh, it's copying the 64 bit. 64 bit, yeah. Okay. Uh, Matthew, it's copying 64 bit. Done. So, do you have this open, Windows yeah. System Image Manager? Or did uh, is it started here? Uh, I don't know which one to do or install. Oh, okay, install. So when you select that, it should be saying catalog creating and press yes. Okay, cool. So did you press yes? Yeah. Okay, cool. So Tanish, yeah. paste it. Yeah. Paste okay. Did can, yeah, uh, did you yeah. open this? Running oh, thing. you're running that thing. Yeah. Hey, you're already four steps ahead, man. Hey, Raj B, man. The whole net plus is looking at you now. <laughs> That's the spirit. Yes. Yes, we can. So the other guys are like way ahead. It's like tracking when we are going up the mountain. Raj, K and Raja are like, we can see them on binoculars. They are so up above now. <laughs> yeah, we should try some tracking sometimes, right?
So uh, you guys are so catalog oh, file. Yeah. Catalog file is going green, right? Not yet. Huh? The DVD is copying, right? From the DVD. Oh. Hmm. So Raj B. Raj B. So <laughs> we're all looking at you now. This, this time, uh, some reason the computer I started with 34, was the great one. They took that away and put that. It's slow. I used to have is very fast. Oh, and it okay. It works really well. This one is turtle. <laughs> you can go and use turtle. Yeah. Now I had all in my uh, other lab, right? Uh, We're not keeping the this information, right? Like Humber, right? You know, Resuming. So, uh, what we have done till now is uh, that we have changed our x64 image and uh, uh, we have uh, installed uh, a windows system image manager or the adk we installed we gave the disk share local c drive we created a folder called disk share and the disk share distribution share and we gave this path then we uh, mounted windows 8.164 bit and then we copied the whole thing to this local c drive created a new folder and dumped the whole uh, files uh, from the D drive, uh, you know, DVD ROM to that folder. Then we added a catalog by right clicking and going to that path in the C drive locally and create this catalog, right? So now we're going ahead and creating an answer file. So for that, we need to uh, check uh, <clears throat> my screenshots. <laughs> okay, so. Uh, once uh, so uh, we're gonna be creating now an answer file so this is it we're gonna go to the right side uh, and uh, we're gonna create a new answer file so um, let's go to this and create a new answer file here and name it uh, untitled and answer file should be loading all these options that we need to answer here and that's the uh, answers that it's going to implement and make it a zero touch and solution we don't have to go there uh, you know all the ma empty machines will get the answers from these areas right so uh, i'm just going to go there now and uh, let's go to server uh, server zero one where we're configuring it already and this is how it looks like right click this area create or open answer file and new answer file right oh you already did that right Matthew uh, yeah so a new answer file it looks like this and uh, you know once we are configured we have configured all the options we're gonna then uh, finally save it and then we're gonna give a new name right now we need to know where to go and what uh, answers to put here also you can see on the left side here again what we added as a catalog uh, if we just expand that there are so many components these are so many areas related to volume browser uh, deployment disk failure dns and it, it uh, fax uh, internet explorer and it just keeps on going right so it could these are all the settings where we can customize our newly installed computer which we are intending to install uh, so we can just customize all this but let's just uh, make sure that we don't have to at least touch our uh, installation and it, when finally it starts installing an operating system we it should not stop anywhere right so that's our success that will be our success so let's just go back and check first we have created an answer file but it is still not configured let's configure it one by one so now we have to be careful about uh, which areas we have to go so first, uh, first area is this, uh, where you can see input locale, system locale, uh, UI language, UI language fallback, and user locale. So once we expand the Windows PE number one area, uh, you know, point here, and AMD 64, uh, AMD is not you know that processor family. It's just referring to the Intel 64 bit, but it just says it as AMD 64, right? So uh if we go to this next screenshot now we have this okay guys uh oh it's have you used enus right there's there can be engb as well great britain yeah. or en any other country 
but we also uh, for Canada is E and dash C A. C A, right? Uh, but uh, when I try to use that, you know, we got errors. So stick to US, right? Uh, so here, what we are seeing, uh, when we click here, uh, I'm going to do that now. But when we click here, we're just going to use en dash US and then control A and copy in and paste it on all these options. Other than layered driver, we're going to be pasting it on all those five uh, columns. So I'm just going to go to the system here. Server zero one. Uh, let's just expand uh, Windows PE. How and uh, then? Oh, okay. We have to actually add uh, this option from here. So uh, we cannot just double click here. We have to just come back here and select that option from here, right? So how do we do that? or which option where to go down it's already so many options here so i'm just gonna go uh to the screenshot here and it shows here actually so and the name is already showing here is this so amd64 underscore microsoft dash windows international core win pe so until windows it's the same in all the lines where we need to really see is international core whichever line has international core and then windows pe right so let's go there back to the operating system and go to server zero one and we can see international core do we see international core somewhere here okay and windows p that's it right so this is it and uh, when we right click it this one international core windows p finish you got it yeah. okay add setting to pass one so it's going to automatically add it there once it is there this means that we're telling the uh, deployment hey whenever the locale option comes just choose english us right so i'm gonna select this and uh, you know and just using the shoes so uh, select other but let me just select this and control C so I can just paste it there right click paste here right click paste here right click here paste here right mm-hmm So, do it done, guys. Loading, generating a tabla file. Hey, and it's uh, going. The the bar is going right. <laughs> Started. <laughs> oh, <coughs> okay, <coughs> you'll be there, man. Hang in there. I know you can reach up to where we are. You have that repetition. Aggressive. The second file doesn't tell. Uh huh. Yeah. Second no, second file doesn't need that. First one needs that. So if we do that. Even if you do that, it's okay. Okay, just want to make sure. Which is okay. Yep. Yeah. Okay. Uh, so it's done. Okay. Let's go ahead a little. And here, if we expand that, there is just one option here: US uh, UI language. We're gonna just paste here as well. E and US, right? So the underlying line. Uh, the line below we can just put the e and dash us we did that all right finish okay so just confirming with our millions of screenshots here uh if that's what the next page told us so if we go there yeah that was ex okay if we go yep that's okay so let's go and select the second and third options there uh so now on the left side in the catalog area now we need to go to again uh, amd64 microsoft windows it's the same but we need to check where is setup and underscore 6.3 uh, setup underscore 6.3 and add it to pass one but we're not adding the right, uh, right clicking and adding this one we're adding just the disk configuration from the setup i think setup is the only one there right uh, setup and then the disk configuration. so we need to expand that and then we go for 
uh, disconversion and add it right if I go to the third screenshot here uh, disconversion is added okay so let's just add that disconversion first so I'm gonna go back to my server do we see a uh, in the catalog as setup we down there's only one this one Raja you seem happy not oh now you seem happy so <laughs> what happened okay finish the line reach the finish line you got the screenshots shoot it uh, yeah, go ahead if you if you want to. It should be totally not zero touch, right? So, okay. So expanding this, and now we have the disc. Do we have a disc configuration? Oh yeah, we have, right? We see that, right? Yeah. Disc configuration. Right click. Add to pass one. Done. Right. Done. Okay. So now we have the disc configuration here as well. So what do we do with that? Uh, we can create an insert new disk, but let's just go back to the million pictures here and check it out what we're doing next. So, okay, we're gonna install deploy Windows deployment in the same area. We're going to add that and then we're gonna play with the disk configuration here. Uh, so Windows deployment, let's just quickly do that. Because it's already open there, and there's the Windows deployment only one after the disk configuration at the end. Right click, add pass one to Windows PE, and when we go, it should look like this, right? And finish mm -hmm. done. Okay, so disk configuration and Windows deployment services. Let's see what we have in store next. Uh, okay, so I need to put that okay windows deployment and we select the windows deployment on the next screen uh, yes it is already there seriously with this big picture is and then disk yeah as I said so in the disk configuration once you add that in the description click insert new disk once we insert new disk let's just go with the next three or four screenshots so we could configure it a uh, new disk and then disk ID zero true let's just do that so first I'm gonna do that so I'm gonna go to server one and Windows deployment is there okay I'm left clicking the disk conversion right clicking it and going to insert new disk so once it is there if we expand that it looks like this right so uh, I'm just gonna confirm if uh, that is the only thing yeah so disk id zero disk ID, we're just putting zero in in front of disk id and will wipe disk what does that mean will wipe wipe means wipe out, wipe out format right format the whole disk so we'll wipe true zero so let's just put that there i'm just going step by step because it's mucho importante right it's something that we do have to do once in production as well Actually, if we are successful, then once, otherwise, true. So, zero and true. Yeah, what happened? So, right now I see two. So, you have to pick the capture one. Um, no. You could pick you the one. one, yeah. You don't pick the capture, because capture will create. Uh, you want the second one. This is one you So, when you put in the path of that, that image you selected already. This is that is the image you're gonna select here as well. Right. In that path, you x64, you put that file. So in two places you uh, change that, right? So okay, we're we're reaching there anyway. Uh, so this id zero true is done. Then I'm just gonna go a little faster now. Um, little, 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 little. So next few steps is insert. So in the partition, we're gonna create insert new partition. Then we're gonna go quickly create partition and then we're going to put some settings there uh, in the partition order like this true extent order one and primary Woohoo! okay let's do that so create partitions here and right click insert new partition you're done all right 
right? So create partition, right click, insert new create partition. And then uh, in the partition order, so again, when we click that, create new partition, there's order, size, and type. So I'm just gonna quickly refer to my screenshots here. Uh, okay, order is one, extend is true, order is one, type is primary. So extend is true, so extend is true. Order is one, type is primary, EFI, extended, logical, MSR. So, does it look like this, right? Okay, finish? This one? Yeah. Yep, finish? So, y you created the created partition, yeah. insert new partition, like, okay, you're done, right? Create partition, true, one, primary? Good. So, let's go there. Oops. Okay, so now we're going for modify partitions, insert new modify partition, and then we're going for Oh, modify partition here, and we just need to fill all this option as well. Add list item, true, false, NTFS, system, C11, and no type ID. Seriously. Okay, so modify partition, and then we go for add list item, true, false, NTFS. Let's just do that. So modify partition. Here, right click, insert new modify partition, right? Insert new modify partition. And when we go there, here's add list item is already there. Active, true. Uh, so if we go there, active is, so true, extend is false, format is NTFS, label is system, letter is C. So true, false, NTFS, system. I'm just gonna go there, true, false, uh, format NTFS, label is system, letter is C, order is one, partition ID is one. So guys, yep, finished, done? Mm -hmm. Hey, you're so fast, what's right with you, man? <laughs> That's good, we're in practice now. No, cool. This, yeah, Matthew? You gotta see this machine. Uh, I need a refund from the Netflix. Refund? Oh. I got the Windows System Image Manager. Okay. I got the Windows E and I'm clicking it. Nothing happened. Yeah, I know. So the machines were. Contaminated. Contaminated. Ouch. Really, how do we know that which machine is fast here? Still need to test it. The one I had it before was amazing. That's the only reason. Hey, I maybe it's that machine. No, that's that's a Dell machine. This is all HP. I know that machine. Which one? Good. 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 The Dell. Good. They removed from here and they Which put one it on is it? HP. Matthew, done? Yeah. Okay. So, oh man, we need to trace that machine. Uh. Okay, so we're just going for uh, now uh, image selection, install image, and then so Windows deployment, under Windows deployment, we're gonna go for image selection, we're gonna expand install image, and then we're gonna go for file name, image group, image name, seriously. Okay, so and then, yeah, now we have to be a bit careful, uh, so whatever is the name of the install images here right click here uh, and file name is this so it should look like this in the end install dash dot uh, two dot wim accounts and windows 8 okay got it so let's just go and try this windows deployment install image so we're gonna go there and windows deployment let's just uh, expand that 
and image selection and install image once we go there install image uh, then we're going for file name image group and image name now this we need to be install image you're there Matthew here okay install image finish there okay so file name image group image name now uh, how do we get that so in our own machines we have to go to this guy the Windows deployment services is it open uh, Tanish, it's not open okay so never close it so go to server manager and go to tools and go way down until you see this you, you have it yeah okay cool uh, Matthew you're there okay so here uh, we have an install image here everyone has one image right and you have one ima image as well right mm -hmm. so right click and go to properties mm -hmm. right mm -hmm. uh, install image under the install image right mm -hmm. and then accounts department right mm -hmm. so properties when you go to the properties, it should look like this so the name of the image so I'm gonna copy this first 8.1 right uh, do not close the uh, I hope you did not close that image one right this one is open still right okay so here where is the image name this one did you copy that so it sh you should paste it here now right oh, it's done so image group and file name so what is the file name here if we go back to that right click where is file name this is the file name install dot wim you see that okay it's not wim right this one right it's okay if it's installed to in your case exactly that name we need in your case it's installed dot wim or installed to installed dot wim right so make sure it's the exact name and spellings okay let's go back to that again and file name right click paste install dot mm -hmm. image group what is the image group name so now we're gonna go I'm just gonna double check this uh, in the slide so it's in my image group accounts here we named it different so this is the image group name uh, if you go back here image group name should yeah this is accounts department it's the same accounts department Matthew it's the same okay finish okay so we're going for uh, sorry that and we're going for accounts department now whew, okay and that's not all guys uh, okay so once this is done done okay so uh, let's go ahead and go for next few pictures here Uh, install to right below that where we were working install image now if we click install to there is disk ID and partition ID so 0 and 1 so if I go quickly here and I am on install to disk ID is 0 the first disk partition ID is 1 the first partition so it's installed to here done right Matthew done finish all right man you guys are faster okay so now we have a couple of million more uh, screenshots here so in under the install to there's login and in under the login is credentials the so domain password username okay that should be easy so if we go here now we have under login credentials let's just give our domain name as net plus domain dot local password and net plus admin what? <laughs> but it did not work, right? It works, right? No, I had it set to uh, respond only to known computers. That's why. What was the net plus okay. admin? Yeah? No, okay. uh, net plus admin? The first one, yeah? Yeah. Did you change it to net, uh, from administrator to net plus admin? Yes? Yeah. Okay, cool. So uh, let us go there. And uh, I'm just going to go to the login and credentials. You're there? Yeah. 
right? Mm -hmm. So domain net plus uh, uh, domain dot local first. Net plus domain dot local, right? We know the password. Net plus domain dot local. Hey, why isn't it showing the whole screen? And username net plus admin. Rat. Yeah, that was the easy part, right? Cool. Done, Matthew? Yeah. Okay. Finish? Yep. Net plus admin. Yeah, same here. No. Did you play the partition like manually? Hey, did you miss a tiny, tiny step? Good luck. Like <laughs> In this one? Yeah, it has to be exact, like. No, like we saw the partition and the disk. Yeah. Yeah. Zero and one. Zero and one. Cool. Zero and one. Yeah. Same kind of partition. Yeah, there's a partition step in there, but. Yeah, you can't both do the same mistake. <laughs> yeah, that's awesome. I did not get that information. Did you save it? Did you close that car catalog? And did you? Yeah, I didn't save it. I didn't save it. Yeah, uh, double check that uh, XML file. But actually, you have to open that uh, that particular XML file inside the, you know, that image manager, yeah. and just go to that area where you, you know, check that. Oh, uh, where we are now. Right, mm -hmm. this. So you're at this area, credit partition. So make sure true one primary is there. Uh, hey, what's that? Did you take a screenshot of that? No, Come on, I always. Oh, okay, it's gone. Yeah. Both are away from the screen, right? Mm -hmm. Always take a screenshot of that. Always. It's going to be good for you for your production environment. Suppose, and we have no idea when they give us this task. So any error you took a screenshot is always good if you resolve it later. <coughs> so uh, okay, credentials. Oh, uh, so here do you have this snipping tool? So it's in every Windows. Uh, I think it's not. It's in Windows Seven. Yeah, it is in Windows Seven. So if, oh, it's a uh, snipping tool. S N I P P I N G. Space two or print screen is always there. Mm. The snipping tool really helps. You can customize the area you want to copy. Okay, so credentials done. Let's just go for something else uh, because we. Uh, it's the file one actually. So oh hey we're done. I'm uh, about to have tears of joy. Okay, so <laughs> where we reached it. <laughs> okay, so uh, we can just, uh, after putting the credentials there, and that was file one only. So <laughs> then we're gonna go for file two. So tools, uh, validate answer file. Uh, we're gonna click that, and uh, it's going to um, just validate, and then we're gonna go for save the answer file. So I'm just uh, looking at some of the uh, areas here. And we need to go to this path, remote install, WDS, uh, client unattend folder. Okay, uh, that's, let me just see this next screenshot as well. We're gonna name it WDS unattend client file dot XML. Okay, so going back, since we did the first file thingy or configured, first file thingy. So it's uh, tools and validate answer file, right? Tools. God, when you see the screenshot when I'm explaining, you already did that, and I haven't even did that, right? That's okay. Oh, so, <laughs> uh, so, and then uh, file. Uh, just save the answer file. So, um, save answer file here, or save answer file. Save as. So, save answer file. When we click save answer file, we have to go where? C drive, go to remote install, go to WDS client at attend. Remote install, yeah. yeah, remote install, and then WDS client uh, unattend. Okay, yeah. And it's asked for this. You don't have current, so just click continue and press yes. And inside WDS, uh, so uh, you know, although we can just put any name, so 
WDS unattend client file. Let's just follow the book. So WDS unattend answer in S file. WDS unattend answer file. And the path is this WDS client unattend, right? Yeah, unattend. WDS answer file also is good. WD unattend answer file. So unattend is this. Mm -hmm. Answer. Yeah. File. Okay. Save. Okay. We saved it and it looks like this. It shows as WDS unattend answer file. It does. Okay, cool. Cool. Finish. So, Raj, where? I'm on slide uh, somewhere around 30. 30. Hey, where to go, man? Awesome. Woohoo. All right, uh, we're going ahead now. So, um, once this is done, uh, it cannot be undone. No. Let's just. Okay, so we need to go to that uh, install.wim. Actually, we need to go to the server and then we need to right click the server and properties. Then we need to go to client tab there and we need to go for enable unattended installation and click browse. And then we need to go to that uh, WDS uh, client attend file which we just clicked. So let's do that. I'm just gonna go there now first. Uh, we are going to our WDS server. I hope it's opened. So second, we're gonna go to the properties of server one, right? All right, properties, and then we go for client tab, and then we go for enable unattend installation. Then we go for x64 architecture, and now we need to, it's, it already opens inside remote install. We know where to go there. WDS client and unattend. And there's only one file that we created. This one. So WDS unattend answer file. Double click that and it should look like this. Do it down. Okay, cool. Uh, so let us go ahead now and uh, try to know what uh, else. A uh, couple of million more screenshot. Yeah, it's <laughs> hey. What? I found there's on the first file. Yeah. Oh, it's in the screenshot, it's okay. Yeah, the screenshot is perfectly fine. Oh, okay. So we missed Both the did the file. same mistake? Mm -hmm. Seriously? Mm -hmm. No way. Okay, so, um, okay, uh, once this is done, uh, we need to create a new answer file. Woohoo! Okay, seriously. Okay, so once this is done, click apply. Okay, so we're just gonna click apply. Apply. Okay. Apply. Okay. Done. And let's just go. We both did the exact same thing. Seriously, guys. Exact same thing. <laughs> How? This is not possible. <laughs> We just missed the no, it files. could be something that we may, might do as well. No, no, I checked your file. It was uh -huh. exactly correct. It oh. You put true. Okay. And maybe our eyes are like completely so many true false. <laughs> both are both correct. Uh, both. <laughs> <laughs> and same company, right? It's going to be. I'm not going to be. Yeah, not okay, sure. so there's a lot of incidents going on or co-incidents. Okay, so <laughs> let's go back to our uh, answer file. The dreaded thing is still there. Oh, I mean, like, uh, <clears throat> yeah, it's a, something we need to do. So, yeah, so answer file, second answer file, we're going to go for that. Um, now, this time, click the that uh, uh, ADK and go for new answer file, right? Okay. New answer file, and there you go. Everything's new now, right? So, let's go. It, it's a small one. It's not a big one. But, uh, you know, we need to have the eyes on the prize. So I hope it all works fine for us. So untitled, let's go for this. Yes, we did that. 
okay now we're going for catalog file again this time we're going for AMD 64 Microsoft Windows wherever there is shell written and shell is right under the setup one one line after setup right but let's see which one so shell right shell AMD 64 Microsoft and what do we need to select from here shell yeah but uh, let's see what we need to select here right when we right click uh, we are adding shell setup properties and hey so it should be added to also oh sorry it should be added to four so we're gonna be selecting this for specialize right for spe oh I should have put in the screen hmm. for specialized right and then we're clicking that and there's a couple of million million more options uh, that makes us feel better when we say that so um, okay this command that we run uh, will tell us the Eastern time US and Canada Eastern Standard Time so I'm just uh, going through some of those uh, options here uh, TZ util slash L tells you what is the standard wording for the uh, you know time zones in by command prompt it tells you but what are we doing here anyway uh, we need to fill it like this the computer name uh, we're gonna give this computer name here and registration registered organization company name so guys follow this first of all uh, going to the catalog folder again this time the shell where's shell hey shell shelly shelly oh there it is okay so once we add the shell for pass for here do it done oh already done so once we're here uh, there's a lot of stuff that we don't need right so I'm gonna confirm that from my uh, those million shots uh that we don't yep we don't need those so i'm just going to go back here and just uh get rid of them so get rid of what so if i click here and press delete from the keyboard and delete yeah that's it until we have the main line so click and then press keyboard delete oh that's the keyboard you have oh yeah okay so uh, once we do that now we have certain fields to fill up so delete it right yeah. delete, delete, delete. so um, yeah oh that's the second one right so that's what we need to fill computer name let's give it win win 8 client 01 and that's on computer name right so we're going for win 8 client 01 as the computer name in the computer name field right yeah in the computer name field so that's done right okay right oh yeah and then we go for way down product key seriously guys what did you put uh, Raja what did you put as a key and it did not stop you? I don't think I'm at that stage. But automatically, for now, it's the hard drive. Cool, cool. Because it's going to. It will. You know what? Uh, let's just go without the key. However, I think because it's still a validation version, I don't think it's in the name. Well, we're seeing that. So here we are. So we're going to know that. Uh, let's just go without the key if it stops we understand that okay it's not perfectly zero touch but we're not supposed to give the key here right although uh, we can give <coughs> any key so but anyway so uh, not any key so product key we're leaving but others registered organization company name registered owner windows user uh, organization owner and then time zone Eastern Standard Time we need to be very careful about the spellings so I'm just gonna go back now and let's fill it so registered organization uh, Samosa world oh. 
So I'm, you can just put your company name. I'm putting Samosa World here. So, and time zone is Eastern Standard Time. Oh, let me just check that. Oops. Eastern Standard Time. So, E A S T R E N Eastern, or is it Eastern or Eastern? Yeah, it should be D E R N, right? E R N, Eastern Standard Time. Eastern Standard Time. All right. You put it? Yep. Uh, done, Matthew? All right. So, uh, East. Oh, hey. It's Eastern or Eastern? Hey, congrats, guys. Yes. Eastern. T E R N, right? Yeah. yeah, this means it's not going to stop for spell mistake here as far as the time zone. You just said sure. Oh, oh he said oh. oh okay, I'm <laughs> okay. So <laughs> I'm relaying the message, relaying. All right, so let's go ahead a little, and um, uh, we're on the eight hundred thousand screenshot, and uh, we're just hanging in there. So the second is uh, we're gonna go back to back down to our uh, this. Uh, catalog and unattended. Do you see unattended join somewhere on the left side? Unattended join. So the rest is same. It's unattended join. And I'm just going to go for this. And it has to be added to pass four. So and unattended join. Okay. So let's just go there. I'm just going to go down there now and let's check it out in the um, unattended. So under the shell, if we keep going down, there it is. Unattended join. Do you see that? Unattended join is under terminal services. Terminal services. Good. Now this is the answer file. You could, you know, hey, I would recommend go for it, Windows 10, right? Uh, but use this answer file a lot. You know, just for practice. Zero touch. Uh, experts are always needed. So these two files, if I can save for, it's like it's for my. It has to be exactly the same edition. The OS. You can only deploy this OS with I this on the Change file. inside of the little bit. Yeah. yeah. The version yeah. number. Oh yeah. Go ahead. Everything will be stay same. Yeah, yeah. Sure. We can further customize a lot of other things that we haven't touched yet. I saw that. Yeah. It's okay. huge. Yeah, huge. Huge. So unattended join. So it's going to. Oh, it has joined the domain, right? Yeah. Good. So unattended join. That's what we're configuring now, <laughs> which they have already tested. So. Okay, sorry. So you, when you're there, right click and pass for specialize, right? Pass for specialize. Oh, it's already done. So okay, let's go for that. Uh, for the screenshots here, Matthew, done? Or maybe you're way ahead. Matthew is so busy now. That's good, man. So once you go down this, oh, join domain identification, um, identification humber domain dot. Uh, net plus domain dot local <coughs> uh, let's pretend we did not hear that uh, okay and credentials again the whole thing the credential thingy okay so let's go there so I'm just gonna go back to sl slides here Oops. Uh, options here so first is uh, join domain I think that's the previous screenshot is join domain only and unsecured join is false. Okay, unsecured join is false. So yeah, it's already false. Uh, the only thing here, identification, join domain, net plus domain dot local, net plus domain dot local. Okay, that's join domain, right? Join domain, right? Okay. And then we go for credentials. Yeah, that's an identification, local. Credentials. Seriously, you're there. Wow. Hey, that was fast. 
jump from one to four. Hmm. That plus the wind outlook. Oh, okay. Then go for credentials okay. under the identification, and then go for password, yeah. and then go for username nat plus uh, admin. Mm -hmm. So, hey guys. Oh, you are connected to Office. Cool. Yeah, I'm just uh, mm -hmm. quick server Oh, that's it. Oh. That's routine, right? But you need to send them a. Oh. Wow. Okay, that's good. <laughs> they really need Raja to come in and introduce automations. There. Oh, okay. Not excited. Okay. Anyway. Yeah. So. <laughs> yeah, he's not excited. It's okay. He not excited about that job. No what? You were not even here? Seriously? <laughs> Wanna go home? You should say like that. Oh. <laughs> so. Throw a hefty set, right? <laughs> so only nine Seriously, hey, we can make it in next app. <laughs> I don't want to say that. <laughs> so, uh, kids. credentials, and uh, then we're going for credentials. Uh, oh, we did that already. So we're gonna go for credentials. Oh, then we're gonna go for one more in the catalog, which is international core. One more international core. Hey. Okay, let's go for catalog here. Now, uh, international core. Hello, international core. There is? No, they should. Oh, they should, yeah, you're right. International core, there you go. Which one? Uh, 6.3. 6.3, okay. We take your word for that. Cool, thanks. Uh, do we have options here? God, there's so many options. Uh, okay, we're gonna add it for pass seven. Right, uh, and uh, then we go for, uh, let me just check the other tools, uh, other information. Again, locale, I hate locales now. Okay, and US, what else? Seriously, then OOB, under the shell? Woo, okay. We're about to be really throwing the machines out. No. So, international core, right click, and this time we're going for OOBE. Right, Ranesh? Matthew's already 10 steps ahead, I think. So, okay. So, input locale, N dash US. And we go for uh, copy and paste and paste away and paste okay. and paste okay so yeah paste 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 all the whole thing all, the whole thing. all of them don't worry all right uh, so then we go for uh, AMD Max Windows shell setup and then OB here shell setup OB and we're adding it to yeah no other option than seven shell setup OOB so where's that so shell setup OOB hello shell yeah shell shut up oh shell set up and <laughs> what what <laughs> so about <laughs> So, and then when we expand that, we're going for OB, and there you go, seven, past seven. So, let us go there, and it looks like this. And let's see what this, uh, what crap we need to do here. Oops, <coughs> uh, what configuration we need to do here. So, true, true, space, true, true, work, true, uh, space, one. Okay, true, true, empty, true, true. Seriously, it is becoming very unprofessional now. So true, true, space, true, true, work. Okay. Oh, seriously, I forgot that. So <laughs> we we were supposed to start from the top. Yeah. So oh, it's true, true, space, 
then true true network location is work and then space and uh, something one okay protect your PC yes please do that uh, all right uh, so protect your PC you did that hey Tanesh you're so fast what's what's right with you okay so seriously same line user accounts and then we go for user accounts uh, we select um, under seven and then we expand user accounts and go for administrator password then we go local account okay got it till there so okay um catalog user accounts five minutes more to kill so user accounts here Tanish, same right wow matthew's way ahead hey we need to beat him man so user account seven and once we're there user account hey we were supposed to do w sauce lab as well windows server operating services oh we're so excited yay okay administrator password here you there administrator password pc pc one two three and local accounts so it looks like this then local accounts uh yeah we need to go there so local account we need to create right click local account insert new local account and put all this stuff description sysadmin administrator so it's like <laughs> you can clearly see somebody's fed up here so it's like <laughs> net plus admin net plus admin yeah so oh let me just add that so local accounts insert new local account like this description uh, yeah this is a local account right so let's just go for sysadmin did you put net plus admin yeah so we're supposed to put here sysadmin so remove that again <laughs> so yeah uh, Admin? Yeah, because it's a local account, so we could just. Oh, okay. And here, what was there in group? Oh, I'll just check that. So it was administrators. Woohoo! Okay, administrators. Seriously? Yeah. Administrators. Mm -hmm. Sysadmin, 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 administrators. Okay. okay, it better be my second last screenshot or else or else i'll continue okay so raja is about to drop dead this admin, yeah? Last one. Yes, hey one more minute you, huh? you guys could yeah you know, you know what last one is, uh, this admin, yeah yeah this admin last one is this admin oh it's done and truly tears of joy oh password okay it's not done so yeah then there's a password here so let's just go there and fill that crap oh uh, fill that option as well so uh and we have the password now so this is because the local administrator is disabled by default right so all those join to the domain suppose it doesn't join to the domain the 200 computers you need to still go locally you must have some back door open that's what you're doing here you know, keeping open those options if something goes wrong and domain join doesn't work okay so now we're saving this in the same uh, area where we saved the first file so it's uh, tools validate answer file all right it says two uh, two options here two things did not go correct but we're uh, not uh, it's just that it's uh, going for Hey, you did not configure that. So domain accounts, I'm just deleting that here. Domain account, just just this. Don't delete anything else, right? Oh, or don't delete it. It doesn't matter, okay. right? Okay. File. Save. Finish. And 
What is the name we gave? O O B E unattended. O O B E unattended. Where? Let's just go there. So O O B E un attended. Oh, Matthew's there already. Let's move faster. O O B E unattended. All right, save. It's it shows already this file, right? It was showing this file, right? Save. Okay. Woo. What? Hey, come on! This is the easiest lab ever. Just want to throw my laptop now. Okay. <laughs> Serious, man. Okay, accounts, 8.1, install images. We go to install images, 8.1, right click, and allow image to install in internet mode, and select file. Then we are supposed to select this OOBE file, and there it should look like this. So let's do this now, and go to WDS. You're already there? Seriously? Okay. So go to this, you're already there. Yeah. Install images, oh. accounts department. Right click this, Property. right? Yeah. Properties. And go to. Allows image. Yeah, select file, browse, and C drive, and remote install, WDS client unattended. Seriously, you're fast, man. What's wrong? What's right with you? So, OOB, unattend, double click, press OK. And there you go. Woohoo! Yeehaw! Refresh. And now. So, what do we do now? Okay, it should just install now. How do we test it? So, sorry? That's it. Apply OK. Apply okay, right? Yeah, after so that. after that, now we just start. So how do we start? Oh. Go to file in Windows, uh, uh, no, VM Workstation. Uh, VM Workstation, you're there? Uh, VM Workstation? Yeah, fine. Yeah. New, new virtual machine? Yeah. Uh, yeah. Uh, it was, oh, oh cancel? Just check the VMnet setting of server one. Mm -hmm. Settings. Server so one settings. Mm -hmm. We are on VMnet 15, right? Yeah. Okay, good. Now we go for file, mm -hmm. new virtual machine. Oh, we need to make it automatic, right? Automatic. How do we make it automatic? Are you there on WDS? Mm -hmm. WDS. Yeah. Right click. Mm -hmm. yeah. yeah. Properties. Yeah. Boot. Yeah, boot, yeah. continue. Because now it should be automated all, zero touch literally, right? Yeah. Press OK. OK? Yeah. Now we better be ready. Now we should not be touching anything after starting the machine, right? Yeah. All we need to do is start the machine. So new virtual machine. Yeah. Now next, uh, I will install a little later. Yeah. Next, Windows 864, next. Uh, WDS1 Next Everything okay here 60 gigs next Customize hardware Network adapter VMnet 15 Man Finish you're like Flying Very good Finish Start All right, guys. So yeah, press no here if it comes, and it should go automatically. Please press any key. Yes, if press any key comes, we're good. Woo! Hey, uh, so perfect, man. Way to go, gentlemen. We call it a success. Okay, okay. So Raj uh, B will be. Not falling behind. He knows the steps. 
And okay, we close the academy. We'll see you tomorrow in the morning here. Okay, no, you have to go home. Come on, man. So, do it done, guys. So WSUS and other labs are waiting uh, on Thursday, and uh, please repeat this at home as well. Do try this at home, and yes, any paper. Ooh. Okay. <laughs> No, 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 no. Oh, so so take a. You know what? The thing is, we are learning our answer file thing, right? We learned that. You just have to repeat at home. Here, even if you shut down that machine, doesn't matter anymore. At home, we need to actually test till the end that it was a zero touch, right? All right. So it's it's going fine, and it's okay. Good. Yeah, zero touch thousand.